In this video, we'll go from complete beginners on Excel to learning the essentials in just 15 minutes. First, we'll start off with Excel basics, then we'll get into formatting using an income statement as an example, thirdly, we'll get into formulas and data analysis, and finally, we'll look at charts and visuals. So let's get into it. Beginning with part one, let's go over some basic layout. So over here, we have a brand new Excel file, and you can see down below that we have the name sheet one. This is the name of the worksheet, also known as a tab sometimes. You can double click it if you wanna rename it like so. Let's say I type here, hello. Similarly, you can add new worksheets just by hitting the plus sign to the side here. Within each worksheet, you have all of these blocks which are known as cells and each of these has an individual name. So this one right now, we're in column B, row two, so you can see up top that it's called B2 as the name. And so if you move across, that's gonna update. And right to the right of that, we have what's known as the formula bar. And this is where you would type in any type of formula, which we'll look at later. If you wanna insert anything, you simply have to start typing it. So you can type, hello. And you'll notice that now under C3 over here, we have under the formula bar, we have the actual value of hello. Same thing goes with numbers, I can just type them in like so. If you can't see things too well, you can always zoom in using this bottom part over here with the plus and minus sign, or the shortcut for that is control alt plus sign or control alt minus sign to zoom out. That's Excel layouts in a nutshell. And next up, we've got formatting. And for this, you can see that we have this file with a few values. This is basically an income statement with the revenue, the cost, and the income down below, and some values to the side. And our goal here is to reformat this and make it look professional. And if you wanna follow along, you can download this Excel file right below the video as well. So let's go over to a new sheet just by hitting that plus sign down below. And to zoom in a bit, we can hit Control Alt Plus. Let's do that twice. And so firstly, we need to put that it's an income statement. And then for the years, let's say we start at 2023 and we wanna continue right raising that until 2027. We can actually do that by hitting the equal sign. And this is the number we wanna reference. And then we're just gonna do a plus one. So that's 2024. And to continue that on, we can just go over here to the bottom and drag that across all the way to 2027, like so. Then let's format the colors of this a bit. So we'll select this whole area by hitting Control Shift right. And then up top over here, this is what's known as the ribbon. And we wanna change the highlight color to something like a dark blue. Feel free to choose one. I'm just gonna choose this recent one that I used. And then now we need to change the font color as we can't see anything. So we'll go over next to that under font color and just choose a white there. We can also bolden it by hitting the control B or also hitting this sign over here. Awesome. Now let's reference the previous sheet and bring over some of the line items. So to copy all of this area over here, we can just with a mouse, like sh go ahead and select it like that. Or we can also do control shift down to select it. Control C, that's gonna copy it. You'll see that it's selected like that. And then you're gonna go down over here and hit control V. Now you'll notice though that these lines are very long and they're actually going inside column C and column D. So if you wanna change that, we can actually readjust this column B by just dragging it like so. Similarly, you can double click on the edge and it's just gonna auto fit such that it adjusts relative to the longest. Great, so we brought the text and now let's do the same thing for the numbers. So we'll go back over here and select all of these numbers Control C and then paste them back over here by hitting Control V. But you'll notice here that these numbers aren't very well formatted. Some have decimals, others don't, and it's very hard to tell what the numbers are. So to reformat them, we can hit on Control 1. This is gonna create open up this format cells pop-up. And from here we wanna format these as numbers, which is what they are but we don't want them to have any decimals. We'll go with zero decimals and we do wanna use the thousand separator. So we'll take that and you can see how that creates a comma in between there. So we'll hit okay. And now it's a lot easier to see. Great, now what about the totals though? It would be nice to make those stand out a bit more 
maybe by boldening them. So you can see the net income here and the gross profit. It would be nice to bolden these. So we can just select that first one by hitting shift right arrow all the way to the end there, hitting control B to bolden. And we can also add the borders with, with this thing over here. So we can go to that drop down and let's say we go for a top border. Now you can see what that looks like. So we're simply gonna select this whole first one and copy that format across these other ones. With this tool here, the Format Painter, you can double click on it and you can see that it's now selected. So we'll go over to Operating Income, paste that same format, Pre-Tax Income, same thing, and Net Income down below as well. To deselect it, you can just click on it again or hit the Escape key. Now for Net Income, because it's our biggest value, it would be nice to maybe change it to, to a yellow. So we'll go down under theme colors and change that to a yellow so it stands out more and also add a bottom border. So we'll go for this one right here. And just like that, we've gone from an income statement that's unformatted and rather ugly like this to one that's looking a lot more cleaner like this one. You might have noticed that income statement is missing a few values, which we'll look at now in this third part using formulas. So over here, you can see that we've got things like the gross profit, which are actually going to be the revenue minus the cost of goods sold. So we're just going to do equals and we want to reference this cell over here with the arrow keys minus this other one and hit enter. Now to drag that across, we can just go to shift right arrow and control R for right. And it's going to create all of that same formula all across these. Same thing down below, operating income is equal to gross profit minus selling general and administrative minus depreciation and amortization. And again, shift right, control R. Let me go a bit faster here for these. So equals operating income minus interest expense. And again, shift right, control R. And this last one, pre-tax income minus taxes shift right and control r if you want to see how these calculations are being done you can always just double click on one and you'll see what that looks like you can also press the f2 key for that now let's do some further analysis on this income statement so down over here let's first label this like analysis and we're also gonna highlight it so shift right let's say we go for a light blue so it stands out a bit more so like this one here and control B to bolden it. So for this analysis, I've gone ahead and added a few questions down below. Firstly, we've got the five year total net income. So it's the sum of all of these here. This is where we can use our first function by going to equals sum. You'll find it over here. To activate it, you just need to hit on the tab key and the numbers, well, they're all of these that we can simply drag like that. And to close the function, you actually need to close the parenthesis. And to actually calculate it, just hit enter. And you'll find the answer there. Same thing goes with the average. So it's going to be equals to average this time. Hit the tab key. And we'll select these numbers here. You can also select them hitting control shift right. Which is a bit faster than using the mouse. Close up parenthesis and hit enter. And you get the idea here. If we want to find the maximum, it's going to be equals max. Similarly, we could find the minimum. We could also find things like the median and a ton of other options too. Those were all fairly straightforward questions. Now let's go over some slightly harder ones. So down over here, you can see that it says net income above 1000. And so if it is so, we want to say yes. And if the net income is less than 1000, then we want to say no. So for that, we need to create a conditional statement. We can do that by hitting equals if so this is the condition if so the logical test is that this figure right here is greater than 1000 right so greater than 1000 comma the value if true if that is the case what do we want it to do well in quotations here we want it to say yes the reason i put quotations is that when you add text in a function you always have to have it wrapped around quotes then value if false, in quotations again, no. Close those quotations, close that parenthesis, and we can just hit on enter. 
then we'll go shift right and control R. So you can see it seems to be working quite well here. Now just having it say yes or no is a bit dry so maybe we can add some colors as well. So we'll just select this whole area here and we'll go up to conditional formatting in the ribbon. Then we want to say highlight cell rules when they're equal to the word no. We want to fill them in red and you can see what that looks like. Same thing with yes. So highlight cell rules when they're equal to yes. We want to change that from red to something like green as that's positive. And there you can see what that looks like. Finally, let's take it up yet another level with a lookup function. So over here, we're looking for the net income figure in 2024. So we're going to use the X lookup function. We'll go to equals X lookup, hit the tab key there. The lookup value, well, we're looking for 2024. So we'll type 2024 comma and we're looking for it where well within the region of the years right so within this top part over here comma and the return is the answer that we want well we want the net income figure so we're gonna select these close up parenthesis and hit enter and you can see that this figure net income for 2024 seems to match this one which is all correct and if you want to learn even more formulas like the sum ifs the index match or the offset function you can check out our excel for business and finance course using the link in the description below we won't just go over formulas though we'll also cover formatting best practices and shortcuts building awesome visual dashboards and creating large dynamic financial models if all of this sounds interesting you can check out the link in the description below and if you don't just want Excel, but want to learn other stuff, we also have courses on Power BI, finance and valuation, and much more. All right, back to the video. In this final part, let's go over some charts and visuals. So going back to the income statement here, let's suppose that we want to create a chart for the revenue. Well, we simply have to select the header, which is going to be the years and the revenue figures like so. We'll go over to insert and you can choose a ton of different charts here but if you're not too sure you can just go with excel's recommendations and let's say that we like a column chart like this but it does look a bit empty so maybe we can combine it with something like the net income so we're actually gonna hit on escape to get out of that and if you also want to select the net income at the same time you can hit the control key and select it like so so we have all these three selected go back to recommended charts and now you can see it's updated to have the revenue and the net income so we'll hit on ok there let's drag this down all the way to the bottom part great so we can add another header here and call this one visuals and to copy that same format we'll just select this top part go under format painter again and just paste it down below like so to change the title we can simply double click on it and go ahead and change it. Let's say I just put hello for now so you can see what it's like. If you wanna change the color of some of these columns, you can just select it and go back to home here and under the shape fill, so the fill color, we can change that to say a darker blue, kind of like so. Now one thing you might have noticed is that it's getting hard to actually see the income statement because we have so much data down below. So we can actually group these and bucket them so you can't see it all the time. So we simply have to select them. I just selected them with my mouse there and then go under data and we'll go over to group all the way to the side here. So just click on that and you can see that we have this minus sign. So if I click on it, it's going to collapse everything and I can open it again with that plus sign. Same thing with the visuals. We can select all of them like that. And the shortcut for the grouping is the shift, alt and then right arrow. And you can see that it's created that and left arrow to remove it. So right arrow and I can collapse this and collapse this other part as well. And we can see the, net, the income statement a lot better now. One final feature with visuals that not many know about has to do with trend lines. So over here to the side, suppose I want to create a chart for the trend of each of these line items. I can actually do that by going to insert and then you're going to find these spark lines just going to click on the line here 
and the data range well we're interested in all of the values here for revenue and then we'll go down across all the other ones location is fine right here and i'm just gonna hit on ok and you can see what that trend looks like and i can drag this down now by going to shift down arrow and we did control r for right now we need to do control d for down and you can see what that looks like i can even edit this into a column like that and even add high points and highlight them in red now there's a ton of other stuff on excel to learn but these are some good essentials now to get faster use shortcuts with this video over here or take our excel course over here hit that like and that subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one